Hello and welcome to the National Indoor Arena here in Birmingham for semi-finals day at the Yonix All England Badminton Championships. Event number three on the 12 tournament OSIM BWF World Super Series. Not only is this the oldest and most prestigious event in the badminton calendar, it's also the final premier event before the end of the Olympic qualifying period. And there you can see all 12 tournaments. And of course, the five premiers are the Korean All England, Indonesia, Denmark and China. And of course, the top eight at the end of the year in all five disciplines will qualify for the Super Series finals as well. Now, of course, because this is the last major qualifying event before the end of the Olympic qualifying period, it means all the world's best players are here. And when you look at the semi-final lineup, that confirms that statistic. We're starting with mixed doubles and the 2009 world champions, Thomas Leiborn and Camilla Ruta Yul from Denmark, up against the holders, Zhu Chen and Ma Jin from China. Then we'll have men's singles and the two-time defending champion, Li Chong Wei of Malaysia up against the 2006 finalist Lee Ho Jong of Korea. Then, of course, men's doubles and the holders from Denmark, Matthias Bo and Karsten Mogensen, up against the 2008 champions, Jung Jae-sung and Lee yong Day. Then women's doubles and the top pairs in the world are all through to the semi-finals, and we're seeing the number two and three ranked pairs, Ha jung Ung and Kim Ming Jung of Korea up against the world championship silver medalist Tian Ching and Zhao Yun Lei of China. And then the fifth and final semi-final features the four times world champions and two-time former champions of the All England Championships, Kai Yun and Fu Haifeng up against Hashimoto and Hirata of Japan. So it really is an absolutely tremendous lineup for these semi-finals. Uh, the 2012 Yonex All England Championships. And as you can see, the players arriving onto court for the first of our semi finals Thomas Leiborn and Camilla Oruta Yul up against the defending champions Zhu Chen and Ma Jin of China. An army of Danish fans here at the National Indoor Arena. There they are, they come every year. They're very vocal in their support of their players and that is wonderful to see. But perhaps if you were thinking that Danes would be in the semi-final of the mix, you were probably thinking that it would be the number three seeds, Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Peterson. But of course they were beaten by their teammates, Thomas Label and Camilla Ruta Yule in the quarter-final late yesterday evening so in fact it's the second ranked danish pair who are here in today's semi-final course number eight seeds in this year's championships the chinese pair the number two seeds as defending champions So the Danish pair, what a welcome return to top form that took them to the world title in 2009. World ranking up a couple of places since last week, number six in the world now, and as you can see their win-loss record for the year, very healthy indeed, because in fact last week they won the German Grand Prix. That was their first title for 16 months since the Denmark Open back in 2010. Thomas Leiborn, the 34-year-old from Copenhagen, has been beset with injuries over the last year or so. Ankles, knees, arm, shoulder, back. He's had a catalogue of injuries, and that, I think, is testament to the fact that the way he plays, it's diving around the court, never adverse to scrambling back to the shuttle. And as I've just mentioned in the quarterfinal yesterday, had to defeat the number three seeds, the Danes, and that's a tough encounter indeed. So to their opponents, and the Chinese pair, Zhu Chen, he's 27 years of age, Ma Jin, 23 margin from Qingdao, which became famous as the sailing venue for the Beijing Olympic Games. Number two in the world ranking, reached that in October last year, and have remained at number two ever since. But just look at their win-loss record for the year, nine and one, 
And I can tell you that they've played two individual tournaments. They've reached two finals, winning one of them. So they really have been in tremendous form. They won the first Premier Super Series event of the year, Korean Super Series, and beat the finalists a week later in Malaysia. Well, their path through to today's semi-final, second round, tough match against the Commonwealth Games bronze medalists. The pair from Singapore are actually promoted from the qualifying event because of a withdrawal in the main draw. And then yesterday, against the Russian pair of Alexander Nikolayenko and Valeria Sorokina, two straight games, but I can tell you it was a very good match indeed. So these two pairs met each other twice previously and the last time they met was in the quarter-final of that Korean Open and of course with Ma Jin going on to win that title they obviously won that encounter in fact both of their two previous encounters in play, two play, straight please. games Well, it really is wonderful to see Thomas Leibourne and Camilla Ruti all back to something like their best form, the form that took them to that gold medal at the 2009 World Championships in Hyderabad. Of course, they really burst onto the world scene when they reached the final of this particular tournament, the All England Championships, back in 2005. They were unseeded on that occasion. What a difference a year makes. You consider 12 months ago, they were the number two seeds here at the All England. Sadly, had to withdraw because this man, Thomas Laybourne, was struggling with injury problems. But, Anthony, it really is terrific to see them back to some pretty good Ladies form. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, There's Chen, a fabulous Martin, mixed pair. China. Especially Thomas Laybourne, very explosive, exciting to watch. My left, Thomas Leibon, Camilla Ritiu, Denmark. Malcolm Bannum, our umpire from England. The both of our court officials from England. There he is, very experienced Camilla umpire. Announcing the players to the start Double. of semi finals day here at the Leibon. Yonix All England Badminton Championships. Margin, of course, former world champion in mixed doubles, won that gold medal in Paris in 2010, playing with Cheng Bo. Oh. So immediately following that gold medal, Cheng Bo got thrown out of the national training squad for bad attitude. No messing around in the Chinese camp. You know, if you don't do what they say, out you go. What a return of serve. That's wonderful play from left-handed Camilla Rutiu. Always looking for a forehand Rutiu. She's very, very strong in that area. Serve. Of course, both the Chinese players have been World Championship medalists in the level doubles, men's doubles and women's doubles. And both semi-finalists at the All England in doubles as well. But this only their second year playing mixed doubles together. First appearance in mixed partnership at last year's All England and won the title. Well, that's absolutely brilliant from Thomas Labour. Three. Addressing the shuttle early creates deception in itself. Oh. All four players on the court have fantastic defences. So it's going to be a really tough game, this. It's going to be who can dominate from the net.
it's been an excellent start to this mixed doubles semi-final. Both pairs playing on top of their form in these early stages. You usually expect pairs to be a little bit nervous and take time to play themselves in, but already we've got some tremendous rallies. Brilliant move around the court from all four players. Interesting to see Thomas Leiborn loves to get to the net, loves to dominate in that area. I think he, that pair particularly played differently to everybody else in the world. Camilla Ruta Yule is so strong from the back of the court, probably the strongest lady in the game today. Nice, good anticipation. Not only one of the strongest ladies, but also probably one of the tallest. 183, that's about a six foot. In fact, I think she's just slightly taller than her partner. Of course, she's had Super Series success at the previous Super Series event of this, the Malaysian Open. She won the women's doubles with Christina Peterson. Just proves her physicality on the court. She's such a strong individual, but she's really looking sharp at the start of this game. Really looking to step forward on every single opportunity. That was the right option anyway. Made the error. I think the block to the centre of the court perhaps would have been a better tactic. And he's tried it again. Drops long. Very patient play from the Danish pair, not looking to attack Eight, too hard four. too soon. Good nature of the game is to get the shuttle going downwards and soft, make the opponents create the openings. And over push by Zushen. Oh, super backhand. From Thomas Label. Has an incredible ability to be able to hit the shuttle cross court from anywhere on his backhand. Very, very difficult to read actually what he's going to do. That's a good smash from Zhu Chen. Attack, as we call it down the center of the court now both the Danish players slight hesitation as to who should be playing it and by the time Thomas label decided to do so well oh, correctly 274 that's just under 171 miles per hour Clever smash. Margin does have a tendency. She's a fabulous player at the front of the court, but I always think that perhaps her one weakness is the fact that she tends to be a little bit committed on her defence. On that occasion, committed to the backhand side. Oh, my goodness, it's getting faster and faster. 283. 176 miles per hour. Just to put that into perspective, the fastest tennis serve, Ivo Karlovic, 156 miles per hour. It's gone wide. Oh, what a tremendous start to this semi-final by the number eight seeds. Six-point advantage. Der, når vi serverer ham i forhånden lidt ud i vælge, så kommer den der korte, eller sådan en halvkorte ja. kryds, den må du godt være lidt mere ops på, ikke? Ja. Og i baghånden, der han har lavet den der helt kort på den sidste, eller så har han kørt dem ud af til en af jer ja. øh, bagerst, ikke? Så han går med catcheren hele tiden. 
skide godt. Når vi er højt på bolden, så kan vi lave de der stressløft. Well, I'm sure Lars Ullar is pretty happy with their start. Yeah. Oh, Winner of three mixed doubles titles here at the All England Championships with Gao Ling. And of course, two Olympic gold medals. I think he knows a thing or two about mixed doubles. Not a bad player, Jill. He won a fair few titles in his time. Very, very powerful individual. You know, that's the one thing that the Chinese mixed doubles men really like to be is dominate from the rear court. So far in this game, not being allowed to. Well, he's pleased with that, Zhu Chen. Six. He's obviously been told he's got to be more aggressive. This is power smash, his power play. Oh, that's a careless low serve six. wide of the centre line. 12 6. It's interesting to me, Anthony, that both these pairs, both the men, very, very willing to come forward to the net, which means that they have tremendous confidence in their partners to deal with any pressure at the back of the court. Well, the natural nature of mixed doubles is usually lady at the front, aggressive man at the back. You know, both of these pairs showing different elements to the way the sport can be played. opportunity in my book Chen reading the block it just seemed to almost take his eye off the shuttle makes me laugh the way Lars Uart, instead of clapping, the coach, the Danish coach, he clicks his fingers after a good rally. There he goes. <laughs> a lot of power coming down on this one you know he's really looking to try and dominate with his power oh. 290 goodness me 180 miles per hour I think that's the fastest of the tournament so far in a tangle, Zhu Chen looking to defend the backhand stance and having to switch to his forehand side. It's always the case of if you never get your feet in the right position, you can't possibly play the shot, you know, straight legged. So we were usually taught to make sure your legs are bent, make sure your feet are active on that occasion, just you know, the opposite.
Oh, it's just it's long. And there, a little wry smile towards her partner. Yeah, good call by the line judge. that the Chinese combination are beginning to really step in on these little half-court pushes no longer letting the shuttle drop low they're reaching out and taking it early and it's really making a difference in the rallies absolutely I think it's the way to play against the Danes make Thomas Lavon really twist and turn all around the court you know he is a very very aggressive player when he's coming forwards but when you make him do the hard work first you take away a lot of his weapons I think the Chinese definitely trying to adopt that not the best of serves. Well, the impressive thing so far from the start of this game is Camilla Rutuyul's passion to take everything on at the net. She knows that the Chinese pair are almost too good on the attack and she's willing to take every opportunity she possibly can to keep the shuttle going downwards. And the serve is short of the mark. 17, 12. angle from Chu Chen and it's interesting to me that all the Chinese players now are not just giving one hand Fourteen, signal behind their 17. back they're giving two so they're letting their partner know what serve they're going to play where they're going to play it but they're also indicating which one which side she's going to cover well relatively slow smash for him <laughs> goodness me still wouldn't like to defend that Thank you. Well, I think he's going to try and go for the world record today, Jill. He's certainly hitting some big ones, isn't he, out there? But it was the angle of the smashes in that occasion that yep. was so devastating. There we go. The two different signals. Chinese one my definite game plan for the Chinese will always be to work the Danes as hard as they physically can perhaps Thomas Leibon's one weakness is that perhaps isn't as fit as the Chinese guys and I think they know that and that's why they're adapting these long long hard working rallies again going cross court it's not only the technical ability it's the vision the awareness that that's where he's got to play it 
it's such a special shot because it's actually facing the wrong direction as well. You know, it's almost behind him. And to have the wrist sort of flexibility to be able to hit that cross is just special. Always oh, landed on the line. Misjudgment from Margin. 1950. Oh, that is super his footwork in that rally is tremendous. So 16, quick to 19. be able to get onto all of these shots there, so early. Knows it's coming to the net, in again. Turn of serve. And Ruth. Now, delicate touch. Comes four game points. Big, big gap. Wrong choice of shot from Ju Chen to try the cross court clear to the left hander, and the Danes took full advantage. Twenty-one sixteen confirms the umpire. And the Danish coach is absolutely delighted with that, as indeed they should be. 21 16. Yeah, the game. And 20 minutes of play. Yeah. 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 Så stop eller over. Ja. Der vil han rigtig gerne have, at du fyrer en, en hård af. Ja. Dem, dem dækker han godt af herude, ikke? Der får han chancen. Det er de eneste, de sådan rigtig starter os på. Ja. Danish coach Lars Wall advising Thomas Label that when he's pushed down his forehand side and he's playing the drive, not to try and drive it back, to block it straight. And that, of course, will allow his partner, the left-hander, to move forward to the net. So rather than get into the driving battle, he wants more pace taken out of the rallies. But in general, he seemed pretty happy with his players, Anthony. Can't fault their performance so far. Tactically, very, very clever. Of course, Thomas Lebon does get dragged into that drive drive game because he's so good at it. Obviously, where his strengths lie is getting his partner in and around the net, and she's been fantastic so far in this match. Get away with that. Unbelievable rally. 
the defence during that rally, incredible. Oh, oh. Thomas Laybourne took a gamble, he was jumping into the net, the shot went over his head, somehow managed to get back and get it back, and then his partner pulled out an incredible sort of inside-out forehand. Yeah, extraordinary. Center line. Two, four. Really is struggling with his serve today. He's normally got a very, very efficient serve today. He's made quite a lot of mistakes with it. More of a problem if you've suddenly got to serve to a left hander. Oh. I think it changes your, your, your mind with what you've got to do, but you, know, you need to have the ability to be able to go wide, take it to the body. Go to the tee, you know, not just always serve to the same place. If there's a left hander standing there on their forehand, very, very close, got to be able to twist and turn that player. Yeah, that's a lovely play. Fantastic technique, this one from Thomas Laybourne. To be able to step in and hit that so crisp, like he has. Awesome technique. And wide. Well, I thought last night Thomas Laybourne and Camilla Ruto yield against their teammates. I thought the intensity was absolutely superb. Shown again in that rally, especially from Thomas Laybourne. You can kind of see why he's had so many injury problems over the years. I mean, he literally will never, ever let the shuttle hit the ground. And if he can dive to it, he will do. I mean, that really showed so much speed to be able to pick up the shot that wasn't even really his. Yeah. Three times he's either played a winner or forced an error or set up the rally with that cross-court backhand from driving it across court. Absolutely superb. right hip that's great play from the Chinese that's the kind of thing that Zhu Chen has got to do more of he's got to look to come forwards and take them on in that area at the moment I think the Danish pair are definitely dominating the midcourt with the variation Back to the flip serve. I think Thomas Laybourne's actually probably one of the best returners of serve in the game. You know, he's not the tallest player in the world, but he's so fast off the mark. It's very, very difficult to serve to him. Interception, hunting the shuttle at the net. Thomas Label. Eight, three. This definite style of play from the Danish pair have confused the Chinese. I don't think they really know how to change what's going on at the moment. margin to have the awareness that both the players were going to be coming towards the center that's 
incredible sort of mind reading that's going on in that ahead in that shot. Of course, the Danes not only former world champions but former world number ones. It's been a total of 14 weeks on the top of the rankings. The Danish side. Thomas. That's a wonderful play. The return of Sir Rest, the kicking again. That means he's very happy. Well, Hu Chan has just got to realise that you just cannot drive the shot hard through Camilla Rutiul. You know, it's the best area of her game, you know, the hard drive, she loves it. She's at the perfect height for it. And... Brilliant. Emphasising your point. You know, you've got to work out very quickly in a match. And, you know, they should have done the preparation beforehand that... This is Camilla Tiel's favourite area of the game. You know, every time, and she will always go for it. Even if she misses the odd one, she'll always commit to those kind of shots. And that's why she's so dangerous, because she does it over and over and over again. She misses very few. He's, he's wondering whether he should go back to help his partner. Realises that she's quite content. Steps in, intercepts. So again, an 11-5, and only 30 minutes of play. It really has been so intense. <laughs> Well, I wonder what the Chinese coach is telling Zhu Chen. It was interesting at the mid-game interval, uh, or rather the interval between the first and second games. The Chinese coach was spending most of his time talking to Zhu Chen rather than Ma Jin. Obviously, he feels he's the one that tactically perhaps a little bit less experienced than his partner in mixed doubles, and he's the one that needs the instruction. 11-5. I think that is the one area of Xu Chen's game that needs a lot of work. You know, he is an incredible athlete, his speed around the court, very, very impressive, but needs to learn to play obviously the right shot at the right time. I mean, obviously, in that occasion, it was the right shot, just executed badly. But you just can't get away with the game of always hitting it hard all the time. I think part of the problem is that the Chinese are so good at the fast game, the flat exchanges and so on, and, and the Danes are frustrating them at the moment because they're slowing it down, they're using the angles, and they so desperately want to try and get into their favoured way of playing that they're just hitting everything hard instead of thinking about the placement of where they're hitting it. Racket gone from Leibourne. I think, we're, you know, you've really got to credit the Danish pair with the performance they've brought out so far today. Very, very clever. Thomas Leibon is an incredible athlete in his own right and he's been able to match the Chinese for speed and power and he's also got the delicate touches and the vision and eyesight they have around the net to be able to clinically put the shot on the floor with some of the drives that are coming through them it takes incredible reactions.
telegraph the drop shot. That's a lot of better from Zhu Chen. He's looking to push up the court there. That's the big difference. He's got to get in and around the net. And he's got to be the one that dominates this court. That's a super return. And that's one of her favourite shots, which is why I've been a little bit confused that earlier on in the match, Zhu Chen has been determined when serving to the from right hand court to right hand court and Camilla Ruta Yule serving to the tee because that's on her forehand side and she just does like that little almost brush shot and plays it so well. That's a brilliant drive from Thomas Labour and just showing how much power he does have. No way that Shu Chen can even get anywhere near making the court with that one. She does best margin and she hasn't had many opportunities to really come on from the front because as you say Camilla Ruth Newell has been there first yeah. oh, extraordinary brilliant wonderful rally just some fantastic shots all round in that rally. Ten, Incredible sort of reading of the game from Ruta Yule at the beginning. And that's a fantastic amount of wrist power to be able to turn the whole body and then whip it back cross court, completely deceiving both of his opponents. Thank you. Zhu Chen doesn't like the call. It was awfully close. Well, Zhu Chen is standing, looking at the giant screen at the National Indoor Arena and wants to see the replay for himself. But he won't see it. We will. Oh, that was a bad call by the line judge. It was just wide. Yep. Oh dear. Psychologically, a huge difference between 11 14, or as it is because of the call, 15 10. Well worked, Rally. You can see now Xu Chan is really frustrated with that line call. Like you said, Jill, so important to have got to that 11-14 point for the Chinese, and yes. now there's six points down, and the game is almost over. You know, games and matches and tournaments are won and lost on decisions like that, and it's so crucial. deep in her base defending position then throw in the little block it's wonderful it's tactics it's impressive from Camilla Rutil it's like a magnet the shuttle to that forehand it just always seems to end up in that area and she's got the power but she's so tall she's got the angle to bring it down with lovely sort of finesse Oh. 
Oh, what a great serve. What a serve. Change the angle, served out wide. I think Ruta, you thought that one was short, but the deception on that serve is incredible. Mr. Ben Yoniyama, president of Yonix Company, enjoying the semi finals day. It's going well wide. It's just great play from the Danish pair. They're making sure chance have to produce ridiculously difficult shots to, to even get back into the rally. Deceptive flick serve from Ju Chen. 15, Played the last three or four points very, very well, the Chinese. Almost relaxed a little bit now. You know, they know they're almost out the game and getting very, very close. I think the Danes have got a little bit tense too. Well, that is superb. Got back so quickly for her to play a winning smash like that. Finding the tram lines. 207. Right, yeah, that's long. It's a very nervous lift from Camilla Aruti. Oh, so desperately close now. Wonderful play from Margin. Kept her nerve. Took on the left hander. Prepared to play back to the net. She's just started to get herself right into this match now. You know, almost at the death. She's come alive, coming out with shots that we haven't seen in the rest of the match. And no, she is making the Danes very, very nervous by being difficult. to pounce as soon as the opportunity came. 
wonderful interception and it means that the Danes are on the verge of another All England final. again they've defeated the defending champions the Danish fans celebrate and I can tell you that my colleagues from Danish television are celebrating too they're out of their seats they're leaping in the air and so they should celebrate what a wonderful performance executed their tactics quite brilliantly So, 2005, they were beaten in the All England final by the British combination of Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems. They're through to the final once again, come back from injury. And they've come back in style, my goodness, they won the title last week at the German Grand Prix. They've continued that good form and they're through to the All England final. Their confirmation of how they did it, 21-16, 21-18, in 44 minutes of play. Well, as they take leave, goodness me, what an exciting semi-final to get us off on semi-finals day. And that confirms they're through to the final. It's wonderful to see in mixed double semi-finals, four different nations involved at semi-final stage. And of course, yesterday, two British pairs involved, but for the home fans, bitter disappointment as both British pairs went out in three games, but certainly, European interest in tomorrow's final. That's for certain because of the mixed doubles. What a great game. And of course, they will play the winners of the Malaysians, Chan and Go, up against the Indonesians, Ahmad and Natsia. So, Danish supporters happy after the first semi final. <laughs> 